B-Lab in the shop today, I'm going to be repairing my HP 3562A dynamic signal analyzer. So what the issue is, is the display is weak. It's usable, but it's hard to see the graphics and the lettering. So I ordered a kit from a company on the web called SimCon, and they make a kit called the New Scope 5 which is a drop-in LCD full color replacement for the HP analyzer. So I'm going to install it using their online instructions. Let's see how it goes. All right, so here is the display on the 3562A I was telling you about. You can see it's kind of dim. I've got the lights off in the shop. I'm going to turn the intensity all the way up. You can just barely see the graphing and the lettering. There's actually lettering here. Uh, as you can see, they show up, but not like they should. So it's time for an upgrade. Next step, we're going to kill it and start tearing her down. So I have the lid off of the HP. Here's the kit that I received. You can see it's very professionally packed. Everything's in ESD bags. I'm really impressed with these guys. And here, these are online instructions of how to do the update. Alright, so step one is to remove the old CRT from the HP unit. Okay. Now here, we have the sheet metal cover. And they do recommend that you do not use power tools so as not to strip out this hardware. So off comes the cover. And there is a gigantic CRT display. So obviously one advantage of doing this modification is this thing is going to weigh less when you're done. Alright, so I have all the screws out. By the way, I'm working on this thing on an old vintage sewing table. It's the perfect height, alright? Anyway, the screws are out. There's two up here under a top piece of plastic trim. There's two over here and two at the rear. You have to disconnect the focus adjustments and all that from the rear panel. Then, this guy is going to slide out like a drawer, okay? It's gonna come out from the front. I'm gonna stop here because I need to guide the cables, but we're almost there. Almost got this thing out. So here's the back side. There's a six pin connector here that you pop out. There's a ribbon cable. So you gotta make sure to get those out before you pull that thing out or you're gonna damage it. So there's some retaining clips here for the cables. You just push down these triggers and they'll pop up. I have the uh, rear controls disconnected. They're going out with it. These cables here went to these plugs up here. So I'm just going to pull them and leave them there. And I think we're at the point where we're going to slide her out. So here we go. Just kind of make sure to clear these cables. There she is. All right, next we need to remove this plastic bezel because we're going to reuse that with a new display. The rest of this guy is history. So the bezel was removed from the CRT. Now it's time to install the new LCD in its place. What's really nice is the four screws that I took out to remove this bezel from that CRT mount right up with the four screws that are going to hold the LCD in place. These guys really thought this out well. So there's the LCD board installed on the front. And go around to the rear. Here's the control board which will screw into the same location as the back of the original CRT. I've already started hooking up some of the connectors. Everything's very straightforward, very well labeled. We're getting close. Our wiring's complete. The old stock controls on the back, you're only going to use one, and that's the focus. And you use the front panel intensity, but that's it. The rest of these, hanging in the breeze, abandoned, okay? The new board takes care of all of that. So, let's apply power and see what she does. All right, initial power up, I killed the shop lights, because I want to be able to see this display do its thing very clearly. You can see me in there, huh? All right, 
try to get away from all those reflections. How's that? Got a grid. I never had that before. Turn down the intensity. Yep. Looking like a champ. I'm pretty happy with this project. Even though they said it was about a half hour project. Better count on an hour and a half. Okay. But the instructions are clear. And it's a really nice kit. I'm very happy. So if you're wondering about the cost of this upgrade. It's $400, but you look at the cost of a new spectrum analyzer, it's going to be a lot more money and it's not going to be as high quality as a good old vintage HP. You can find this guy on eBay, it's Zhu Wang, so X-U-W-A-N-G, or he has a website which is simcon.com. Super high quality products, I couldn't be happier. Well, mission complete. The 3562A has a new display, crystal clear, just the way I was hoping. It was a great project. So you may wonder, why is D-Lab doing this? Well, between this instrument and my new leader, SWIMAR generator, which is called a LSW-115, I'm going to start showing you visuals on amplifier frequency response. So if you want to know how a Champ really acts, a Deluxe, a Marshall, we're going to start showing those videos in 2017. Hope you enjoyed it.